Okay, which graph can be used to find the solution of the following system of equations? Well, here, notice we have y equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. That's a quadratic. That's a parabola. You see those parabolas here. And then we have this. 2y minus 2x is 10. Well, 2y minus 2x is 10. We, we want to rewrite this or graph this. Um, and the idea is that in all these graphs, right, um, you need to find out which line we're going to use here. So let's add 2x to both sides. Right? I'm going to write this in y equals mx plus b form and 2y equals 2x plus 10. That's what 2y is. What's y? Well, y is x plus 5 because you want to have everything. This means plus 5, that's our, our b value, our y intercept, and 1 is our slope, our m value. So here, we, we want to cross these two choices out because they have negative slopes, right? Here, these are two possible candidates and both lines look the same so we have to find out which parabola we need. For that I would break out the graphing calculator um, although I'm sorry this is an easier way. Um, here what you can do is plug in an easy value for your quadratic. Plug in x equals 0 and the formula is x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals y. So if we plug in 0 for x we get 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 3. So that means that when x is 0, y is, well, 0 plus 0 plus 3, 3. So this point is on the quadratic. Which of these two graphs have, has this point? They both do. Okay. So that didn't really help. I'm sorry. Um, so then I guess another way to do it quickly is to look at the axis of symmetry. Remember that your axis of symmetry uh, is equal to negative b over 2a. So here, b is 2. Right, so negative b is negative 2. Over 2a, well a is 1, so it's over 2. So the axis is negative 1, or x equals negative 1. So the answer is choice 1, because this, right, is the line x equals negative 1, and that folds our parabola in half as our axis of symmetry. That works. So choice 1. If those don't work for you, all you would, if this is a process that doesn't make sense, just remember the axis of symmetry is for help, but if it doesn't work, um, you can graph this in the graphing calculator and see some key points to distinguish which choice is the correct answer. You might always try to enter 0 as a point or, or 1. I could have done that as well. If I had entered in 1 um, for x, right, then I would know that when x is 1, right, let's plug it in real quick, we get 1 squared or 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 3. So when x is 1, y equals 6, 1, 6. In these two graphs, um, here we have 1 and then 6, but here we don't. We have 1 and then uh, 2, so choice 3 can't be the answer. But you can also graph this on the graphing calculator as well.